Hello parents and students, hope you're doing well. This video is going to be on reading fluency, which is a small section of reading that's important for students to understand and read grade level material. This is the first step. This is R for reading, one, week one, video point one. This is the reading assignment for week one. Each week you'll get a new assignment, so this is week one. The video is R1.1 that goes with this reading assignment. This is a first read. We're going to be working on fluency. This is just one of the skills we'll be using in uh, improving your, your child's reading. I'm going to show you how to do a first read using this passage. This is something they should practice at home with a parent. The morning shone brightly when Jen woke up and looked out at the mesas of New Mexico. I don't know what shone means. So any words that are misunderstood or they can't pronounce, they should go ahead and underline their first read. They should read from the top all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to start where I left off. As always, the rolling plains and red mesas seemed magical. Jen left her cabin, her small cabin with her dog, Cloud, on their daily walk. Even the breeze seemed enchanted. I'm not sure what enchanted, I know what breeze is, but I'm not sure what enchanted is as the reader, so I'm going to underline that word. And I'm going to continue reading until I reach the bottom of the page. Cloud must have felt it too. In a quick move, he pulled away from Jen and ran. Cloud, Jen shouted, running after him. On the far side of the mesa, Cloud entered a forest. Jen followed. The forest was silent. She could not even hear Cloud's barking. She walked deeper until she stopped by, was stopped by a voice from the treetops. I am the keeper of the mesa, said the smooth woman's voice. I oversee the land. Jen nodded. Somehow she understood. I am getting old, the voice went on. I will soon be, it will soon be time for another to take over. And you, I have been watching you. You know the magic of the land. I would like you to be the one. Jen nodded again. She knew the voice was done speaking. She knew also that she would be led back here when the time was right. As Jen stopped out, stopped out of the forest, as Jen stepped out of the forest, Cloud came running towards her. They walked back home slowly through the enchanted day. Here's enchanted again. So these words are going to be written off to the right. And these become their vocabulary words. Now I could pronounce these words. So I just need to know what they mean. So I'm going to write them down here, and I'm going to use a thesaurus or a dictionary to look up those vocabulary words. I'll do that later on. Now you'll notice I made some mistakes in here, but I went back and I self-corrected. Students who read and self-correct, they go back if they make a mistake. That is not considered like an error in reading because they're self-correcting it and there wasn't a word that they misunderstood. They just had difficulty reading through that sentence. I made several of those mistakes through here. I'll get better each time I read. So this is what we do for a first read. So we did a first read. We found words that were difficult for either us to understand or to read aloud. We wrote them over on the right hand side and the words that we didn't understand their meaning, we wrote as additional vocabulary down here so we can write what the meaning of each word is. Because in the end, we really want to comprehend what's going on in the story. We will tackle that last, comprehension. We will not tackle that this week for this lesson. So we did our first read. We read through, underlined the words we um, didn't know the meaning of or couldn't pronounce, put them on the right-hand side. Each time the child reads, or your child reads the passage, had them go over words on the right-hand column if they didn't pronounce them correctly. Shown, enchanted, those are the only two words that I think students might have difficulty with. Another one might be this word down here, through. So I'm going to write that down here too. 
Uh, just out of experience, I found that some students have difficulties with that word as well. So we might include that as a word they have to read before they start the passage. Shown, enchanted, through. Now the second step is to their pacing. Students should be paced at about 120 to 140 words per minute. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm going to start from the beginning of the passage and I'm going to read all the way to the bottom. I'm going to use my timer on my phone. I'm going to set it for one minute. And when I start reading, I'm going to start the timer. I'm not going to start the timer or say go. I'm going to wait until I start reading to set the timer. This is not a race. Students should have a pace that is not too fast and not too slow somewhere between 120 and 140 words per minute. So I'm going to give you an example of pace for a fourth grader reading this passage. I'm going to read the passage again from the top to the bottom, but I'm going to have this timer going on as well. The morning shone brightly when Jen woke up and looked out at the mesas of New Mexico. As always, the rolling plains and red mesas seemed magical. Jen left her small cabin with her dog, Cloud, on their daily walk. Even the breeze seemed enchanted. Cloud must have felt it too. In a quick move, he pulled away from Jen and ran. Cloud, Jen shouted, running after him. On the far side of the mesa, Cloud entered a forest. Jen followed. The forest was silent. She could not even hear Cloud's barking. She walked deeper until she was stopped by a voice from the treetops. I am the keeper of the mesa. Mesas said the smooth woman's voice. I oversee the land. Jen nodded. Somehow she understood. I am getting old, the voice went on. It will soon be time for another to take over. And you, there's my timer, so My timer went off. I'm going to make a little bracket by the last word I said. That was you. And I'm going to continue reading all the way to the bottom. I'm going to start where the sentence starts. And you, I have been watching you. You know the magic of the land. I would like you to be the one. Jen nodded again. She knew the voice was done speaking. She knew also that she would be led back here when the time was right. As Jen stepped out of the forest, Cloud came running towards her. They walked back home slowly through the enchanted day. So I still read from top to bottom. So every time these passages are going to be read, students should read from top to bottom. I got stuck on maybe one or two, but I did a little bit better than last time. And you're going to find that each time your child reads these passages, they're going to get better. So I stopped here when the timer went off. I went back and read completely through. I was not reading all that fast. I was reading relatively slow and every word could be heard. So now we're going to total up what my words per minute were. If we look at the end of this sentence, there's 132 words from the beginning of the passage to the up here to voice down here. There's 132 words in all of these sections. Now, it started over at went on here to 16. So I'm going to start at where the last sentence ends, was 132. And I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I read 14 additional words after voice here. So I'm going to add that to my 132. This is my words per minute. That is a fourth grade pace. Some fourth graders can read a little faster. Maybe they're going to read 160 words a minute and still we can hear them reading clearly. That's fine. 120 to 140, that's the minimum. Students can read a little bit faster. If they're reading 198, and you can't hear the words because they're reading so fast you can't tell what they're saying, that's a little too fast. They should slow down. I hope that's clear on how to do words per minute and how to do a second read or how to time your students reading to get an idea of what, 
how quickly or how slowly they're reading and whether or not they need to practice more. 146 words per minute, if a student's reading that, well, from the top to the bottom, maybe they only need to practice this once a day. If they're down below 100, that's a concern. They should practice this passage three times a day. So you're going to have to kind of determine where their level's at by how fast they read. Again, if they can't read through it, pick a paragraph where they can be successful, like maybe paragraph two here. On the back is the reading logs. This is going to be week one. We will choose a goal here at some point. Down here is the part you fill out. Today's date is the 18th, so I'm going to put September 18th. And the time is 11.15 a.m. I'm going to sign it. This would be for a parent to sign. And then my words per minute is how I determined that was with the timer. It was 146 words per minute. So from Monday to Friday, there's a lot of spaces in here that can be filled in. If you do it just once a day, that means that five of these spaces should be filled in showing that your child read and their words per minute over here. Uh, I do not want to see 196 words per minute over here. That's way too fast. They need to slow down a little bit. If they're a good reader, they can do that, and they're probably reading silently that way. But in an oral reading practice, we're just going to stick to 120 to 140 words per minute. Maybe 150, 160 is fine, but it's not a race. <coughs> Excuse me. If your child is having difficulty meet 120 words a minute, let's say they're reading 100 words a minute, then they should fill in this whole, they should practice twice a day, which would be down here at 10, and maybe a few more after that. Each reading law is going to say, uh, a new log will be handed out on Monday. So Monday is going to be the 21st. So a new log will come out on the 21st. And remember, your child's goal, goal is 120 to 140 words per minute. This is going to vary with student. If they're reading 86 words per minute, then the goal might be 90 words per minute. So this goal is not going to be for just, this goal is going to be different for every student. Every child reads differently. So don't, we'll, we'll figure that out a little bit later on. But this is basically what we're shooting for. Make sure they put their name at the top. And they should practice daily. <coughs> 